Y'all wanna hear a story about why me and this bitch here fell out. It's kind of long, but full of suspense. Okay, listen up. This story long. So I met this white bitch at Hooters. I was her waitress. She came in with this old ass, big ass black dude. So you know, as a Hooters girl, we have to talk to our customers. So I sit with them and we get to talking and she tells me she dances. So I'm like, oh yes, bitch, me too. Then she tells me this hulking black man is her sugar daddy. And I'm like, oh yes, bitch, my SD at home. I feel it, I feel it. So we vibing over our hoism or whatever, and we exchange numbers. And we like, next time you dance, I'ma come hit dance with you. And they leave. So the next day, I get a text like, bitch, let's go to Florida. And I'm like, huh? She's like, I'm going to dance in Florida. Let's go. Now I'm skeptical like, damn, bitch, we just met and we already taking hoe trips together. But I had went to Florida two months prior and made 15K. So low key, I was down. So I was like, okay, I'll go. Who's all going and when we leaving? All this bitch says is be ready by eight. So I call her like, bitch, I said, who's all going? And she said, my boyfriend and our roommate. And my roommate has a place in Tampa. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'll be ready. So I pack my baddest stripper wear and I'm ready. Now my did not want me to go. He was so hurt. So I had to fuck him calm and then I left. Now when I got in the car, it was a white boy, her BF, and this hulking black guy, not the same one. So I texted her on the slick while in the back seat like, another sugar daddy? You got a type, bitch. And the black dude had her damn phone. So he starts laughing and he goes, I'm using her GPS. No, I'm not an SD. I've known her and her dude for eight years. We all live together. So Jessica, the white bitch, pulls me to the side and is like, we gun be at the club all night. This room for Jared, not us. Don't even trip. So I was like, yeah, bitch, okay. But trust, I am not laying my head here. So we leave our shit at the motel with Jared and head to the club. So we working. It was king of slow. It was early Friday night. The club had hella rules, which I'm not used to. I'm a full nude type of bitch. But this club require pasties and boy shorts and all this other shit, whatever. So after making about $800, I was ready to go. She was talking to some dude, trying to talk him out his wallet, and they exchanged numbers. So I was like, call your man, I'm ready. She calls, the black dude. I'm like, um, that's not your man, but okay. So I pull her to the side before he pulled up like, what's up with your roommate? And she was like, we're really close. Before I met Jared, I was with him. He was taking care of me. I was like, oh, well, I don't need that. Taking care of me in stripper language means that was her pimp. So I was like, does Jarrett know? And she goes, of course not. Strike one. So then she goes, I didn't make anything tonight. What do you make? Because he's gonna ask. I said, um, that's not y'all's business, Jess. Chill. So he pulls up and as soon as we get in, he goes, what y'all make? We said at the same time, nothing. So he goes, damn, my girl said she had a bad night too. We finna go pick her up, his fiance who lives down here. We pick her up and he goes, nobody made shit. Y'all wanna trap? 
Trap in stripper lingo means trick. So Jessica goes, hell yeah, you got some clients? I'm in the back on mute. He was like, you can get some. So Jess is like, yeah, I need to trap, but Jared is at the room. And he goes, I wasn't putting y'all in that shithole. That was for him, not y'all. I'm still quiet. We pull up to a nice ass hotel on the other side of town. And he goes, I'll get the clients together and text y'all off this. He handed her a trap phone. So I am mind blown at this point. So when we get to the room, nice as fuck, just me and Jess, and I start going off. Bitch, you got me fucked up. I'm not about to play with you, ho. I'm going home. So she starts crying, and she's like, I didn't want to take this trip alone. Please don't leave me. I would be so scared alone. She's fucking sobbing. I'm like, O-M-G. Really? Now I'm feeling bad for the hoe. She goes, you can just check the guys in. He's not going to force you to trap. I said, oh, bitch, I know he not. I kill, dead ass kill, y'all. Verbatim. So she cleans herself up and there's a knock at the door. I open the door and some fat white man goes, I'm here for the white girl. So I check his pockets, take his wallet, and let him in. They start fucking right on the bed next to me. It was a fucking mess. A mess. So when they finished, he gave her a hundred dollars. I said, Jess, you selling puss for a hundred dollars? Pussy is worth thousands. You trippin'. She goes, I don't make the prices. The prices are already discussed before they come in. So I was like, bitch, no. If you gon' do this, do it right. So I took some pics of her and put them on Backpage, along with the trap phone number with a minimum $500. The phone starts blowing up. I was like, see, bitch, I got you a coming up right now, giving $500 for 15 minutes. He comes, I check him, they get it in, he leaves. We are doing this all night. She fucked about 20 dudes and her sorry ass pimp only sent three of them. So around 6 a.m., Jarrett calls. She answers on speaker and he is going off. Where TF are you and Zola? The club been closed. She goes, we went to another club because it was slow. So I'm Googling 24 hour clubs. Florida has a few trying to help her lie. And he is not having it. He's livid. He goes, if you went home with a dude, you're dead. So he asks to speak to me. I was like, man, I'm going to end up killing these crazy white tonight. So he starts cursing me out. Where are y'all? I know she's lying. Don't be a hoe like her, Zola. I said, I promise you, I'm not. He hangs up on me, and that was it. We didn't hear from him for the rest of the night. We fell asleep. A few hours later, the black dude, I still don't know his name, comes up. He's like, how much you make last night? Jess goes, 5,500. I was like, WTF? Why is she telling the truth? I pimped her, not him. So he goes, WTF? How? That's good, but I only sent you three clients. She goes, Zola made me a back page. I was like, wow, 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 wow. Here we go. So he goes, you can do my job better than me. I said, I was just helping her out. Your clients were cheap. He started laughing. He goes, give me the money. She gave him all of it. And he goes, thanks, Zola. You a real one. And throws $500 at me. I put that shit right in my bra. TF and Jess goes, what about me? And he said, you owe me rent, Jess. You haven't paid in months. I was like, damn. 
So we leave and head to Jarrett in the raggedy motel. Cause our shit was there. As we pull up, Jarrett chillin' outside smoking weed with some dude. Pay attention here. We get out and walk up to them and Jarrett goes, here they go. The pimp goes, here who go lil who dis? Jarrett starts laughing and was like, he was asking me who I was here with. And I said my girl and her friends, that's all, chill out. The guy Jarrett was talking to laughs and goes, I'll catch you later, man. Nice meeting you, and leaves. He was a black guy with dreads, a Florida <laughs> So we all go up to the room and the pimp is going off on Jarrett. You don't know these <laughs> I can't believe you told him two bitches in here. And Jarrett goes, he asked why I was out here mad last night. All I said was my girl went to work with her friend and I ain't want her to. Now the pimp, screaming. So that know it's money up here now? Hell no. We gotta go. Now. Me and Chess are like. So we pack our shit and head out. We went to a nicer hotel about 20 minutes away. So the pimp was like, Zola, keep an eye on Jarrett. I was like, oh shit. He then promoted me to look out and shit. So he leaves to go back to his fiancée at home, and Jared and Jess start arguing. He was like, I know you was trapping, Jess. I saw the back page ad, ho, and he shows her a screenshot. I was like, oh shit, here we go. So he starts crying like a bitch. I was like, wow. He's like, I thought you were done with this. I didn't come to Florida for this. You messy. Then he turns to me and goes, This what you came here for, Zola? I said, Hell nah, Jarrett. She low-key set me up. I'm not fucking with y'all after this. He goes, Wow, you even set up your friend. You such a hoe. They arguing for hours. I leave and go down to the pool. I mean, I am in Florida. So my man calls me. I lied and said everything was okay. I didn't want him worrying. I had a nice dinner and then the pimp calls the trap phone. I answer and he's like, since you a madam and shit, do that shit again tonight. But set up out calls only cause this hotel too nice to trap out of. I was like, cool, I got you, especially for another $500. So I go up to the room and told Jess to get ready. Jared goes, WTF again, bitch, no. I said, Jarrett, calm down, please. This white starts punching himself, like crazy people do, dog. I was like, oh, hell no. He goes, if you do this again, Jess, I will kill myself. I love you too much. I was like, this lost in the sauce, and his bitch lost in the game. So I said, Jarrett, sit the fuck down. Jess, come on so I can take some pics. It's already 10 o'clock. Y'all playing. So I make her a fresh ad. We come out of the bathroom. I did her hair and makeup and shit. And Jared goes, everybody knows you a hoe now. Fuck you. I want to go home. I said, huh? He throws his phone at her and it's her Facebook. A status of both ads. Her mom is on there going off in the comments. Jessica starts bawling. OMG, my mom had my daughter this week. How could you? She on the floor literally breaking down. I was like. So Jessica calls the pimp and tells, Jarrett just put everything on Facebook. My whole family sees. The pimp goes, I told Zoe to watch him. Literally five minutes later, it's the pimp banging at our door. He comes in with his fiance this time and snatches Jared up by the neck. He wasted no time. He goes, I should really kill yo ass. Jared is dangling off the ground crying. Please don't, please. Low key, I'm crying. The fiance pulls out a handgun, y'all. She goes, you want to bay or what? Fuck him. He did our girl so wrong. I was like, oh my fucking God. So now Jess steps in. She's like, please don't, just beat his ass, Z. 
I was like, oh, his name's Z? Okay, got it. So he puts him down. Z goes, nah, I'm gone kill his manhood though. And he sits on the bed next to his fiance. He goes, sit in front of me, Jarrett. He does, still crying. He goes, delete the post and give me your phone. He did. Then he goes, come here, Jess. I was so lost. His fiance unbuckled his pants and Jess gets on her knees and starts sucking his dick in front of Jarrett and I. I was like, yo. He then gets up and starts fucking Jess from the back. Jarrett just sitting there. I'm standing with my mouth to the floor. The fiance right next to them with a gun in her lap. I was like, damn. So then he gets up and says, go clean up Jess. You gotta work. He looks at Jared and says, any questions? Jared says, I want to go home. I laughed out loud. I couldn't help it. And Z goes, nah, I'ma spend the night with my girl, so you gon' take Jess to her outcalls. I was like, damn, that's fucked, bro. He goes, Zola got the clients and addresses so y'all can take her. And him and his fiance leave. The room is silent for the next 30 minutes minutes swear the first client calls and says he ready so Jarrett takes us z left a handgun but told me not to tell them he slid it to me on the slick he texted the trap phone like i'm trusting you with my bitch zola if anything goes left use it i was like what i can't so anyway Jarrett took us to about four clients and then the phone was slow me and Jared were in the car together while she was working, so we started having deep convo. He really wasn't a bad dude, but he was bipolar, very bipolar. So I understood his outburst a little more. So we head back to the hotel and I get this one last call late AF. And the client says, I got 5,000, but I want two bitches. I said, oh, sorry. We only have one. The client goes, well, I got 2,000 for one, but it's four dudes and we only do in-calls. I was like, wow, what? So I text Z and told him. He was like, hell yeah, tell him, come on. So I set it up. Then last minute, the client goes, actually, out call is fine and gives me an address. So we get in the car and head to the address. Jess goes, it's four of them. Can you just wait in the hall, please? I was like, bitch, I'd come on. So we head up to the room number they gave and Jess knocks. A dude goes, who is it? And she says, in call. The door flings open fast as fuck and two big black dudes snatched Jess. Bitch, I ran so goddamn fast I couldn't even see straight. I was out. Fuck that. I run out and the car is gone. I'm screaming, Jarrett, Jarrett, this fool gone. So I call him, still running, and he like, y'all done? I said, bitch Z told you to never leave us. Where are you? He's like, I'm at the gas station. I was thirsty. I thought she was gonna be a minute. I'm still running, L-M-F-A-O-O-O. -O -O. Don't know where I'm going. I'm like, they snatched her, dude. Come get me. I'm calling the police. He pulls up a minute later and is like, don't call the police. Call Z. I was like, Z gone beat everybody ass. You wasn't supposed to leave. And he's like, well, you have the gun. If you call the cops, you done too. I was like, shit, you right. So I called Z and told him what happened. Z is livid. And this deep African accent comes out. I couldn't even understand him on the phone. I was like, man, we dead, bro. So Z pulls up and is like, let's go. I said, um, I'ma stay here, y'all go. He goes, I'm not in the mood, RN, come a TF on. So we all go. Me and Jared on the side of the hall where you can't see, and Z knocks on the door. A man goes, who is it? 
Z goes, where my bitch man? Jessica screams and the voice says, ain't no bitch in here, bruh. I was like, oh my God. Z goes, open the door. Guess who opens the door? The n with dreads that Jarrett was smoking with at the rundown motel. I was like, yo. So he goes, come in and check to Z. Z motioned for us to stay hidden. Thank God. So he goes in the room and Dreadhead there by himself, RN. Z sits on the bed with his strap out and goes, where's she at, man? Dreads goes, well, since she wants to steal work from my girls, she clearly wants to be here with us. We still don't see Jess. So Z goes to the closet and busts the door in and she in there, tied up, knocked TF out. Dreads goes, I got 20k for her right now, man, and all is forgiven. Z said, we made more than 20k this weekend alone. Get out of here. So Dreads goes, my dude's downstairs not gonna just let you walk out with her like that. And Z said, we'll see. Mind you, I can barely see. I'm around the corner, so I just hear everything. Next thing I know, I hear some shuffling and a gun goes off. Once again, I take off. But I took off down the hall through the back. Jarrett wasn't far behind, and then we look behind us and Z is running too with Jess over his shoulder. He throws Jess in the car and hops in the driver's seat. I hopped in with him, and Jarrett hopped in the other car, and we got the fuck on. I'm crying. I said WTF happened. He goes, that reached for his piece. I shot him in the face, man. I was like, oh my god. We got back to our hotel, packed our shit, and checked out. We went to Z and his fiancé's condo. Nice as fuck, by the way. Jess is up now, and she tells us what happened. Apparently, they recognized her from the motel and set her up, clearly. And once they snatched her, they told her to trap for them, and she said no. So they beat her ass. That's what Z interrupted when he knocked, so they knocked her out. I was like, I really gotta go home, y'all. Sorry to kill the mood, but I can't take no more of this. Jarrett was like, same. Z's fiance was in the kitchen counting money, dog, just like a rich hoe. So Z was like, everybody get some sleep. I gotta get rid of this. Talking about the gun. So he leaves. We all try to get some sleep. The next morning he comes in with tickets for me and Jarrett. Jarrett goes, I'm not leaving Jess here, not after last night. She has a daughter and needs to come home. Z was like, nah, we making money. I was like, wow, with a black eye and busted lip and some Florida is looking for y'all, you still trying to trap. Crazy. I was like, well, I'm ready. Jess goes, it'll be okay, Jarrett. I'll be home in three days. Jarrett started with that punching himself shit again. I was like, man, here we go. Jarrett goes, come with me or I'm killing myself. Z was like, ugh, not this shit again. I'll be in the car. Y'all two hurry up. So Jarrett is literally breaking down. You ever seen someone hysterically crying? It's intense. And Jess trying to calm him down. I'm at the door ready. Jarrett randomly stops crying, instantly, like some movie shit, and goes, so you aren't coming? Jess said, no, Jarrett, I can't. This Jarrett runs towards their balcony and jumps. I swear to God, Bible. He fucking jumped. I screamed so loud my heart stopped. Jess runs towards the balcony and this Jarrett was hanging. He didn't fall all the way. He was stuck by his pants. Thank God. We were only on the fourth floor, but he still would have died. It was a good drop. So Jess is helping him, and I call Z. L-M-F-A-O-O. -O. Still crying. I was like, Jared is stuck. He tried to jump off our balcony. Z was like, what is wrong with this Families live here, bro. W-T-F. So Z came up, helped get him, 
slapped the fuck out of him, literally, and physically guided him to the car. Jess comes out and goes, I swear I didn't set you up, Zola. I never intended for you to trap. That's why you didn't. I hope we can be friends after. I looked at her like she wasn't speaking English and I said, I'm not gone beat yo ass RN because you already in bad shape, but I better not ever see or hear from you again. And she walked away. Z literally buckled Jarrett's seatbelt, LMFAO. And we went to the airport. Bear with me, it's almost over. When we landed in Detroit, my man picked us up. We both looked horrible, so washed up and tired. My man was like, who is this white boy and what's wrong with y'all? I said, babe, neither of us are the same. Just take him to his car and take me home. We dropped Jared off and on the way home, I told him everything. He couldn't even speak honestly. Check this out. This is the last four tweets. I get a collect call four days later from a jail in Las Vegas. It's Jessica. She goes, we got caught trapping in Vegas and we all got arrested. I said, oh, why you calling me? She goes, Z was wanted for kidnapping 15 underage girls and is linked to six murders, including Florida. I said, Florida? Murder? You have the wrong number. She screams, ask Jared to bail me out. He won't answer my collect call. I said, Jarrett, you really have the wrong number. I hung up and called Jarrett. He goes, yeah, I heard. It's on the news. He's a huge trafficker. I found out later that Jessica and his fiance played victim and said they were forced in Z, whose name I can't pronounce, was an African man and was wanted literally everywhere. He got sentenced to life and I hear Jess is back in Detroit with her mom and baby. And that's the end of that.